Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at the Witofo Flow. Witofo Flow. Witofo. Wit yeah, Witofo Flow uh, sub tank. It's 24 millimeters in diameter. It's 40 millimeters in height. It's made from stainless steel 316, and it looks a little bit like this. Now it's a four mil uh, sub tank. However. In the UK, you can buy this for between 20 25 pounds, and it does have a reducer inside it which takes it down to TPD compliant 2 mil. This reducer may or may not be removable. Uh, so, close ups. So, here we go. This is slightly different branding for Witofo. This is not the usual packaging that we see from these guys, and we've got all this bump on the back. Inside, you are going to find the following. You'll find a spare coil. There's a coil in here. There's 0 0.25 ohm. You've got a spare Pyrex glass tank here as well. In the bottom, you'll find <laughs> you wish they got new bags. It's not competition wire, it's spare O-rings. And you will also get a manual that takes you through the basics on how to use the tank and it's lots of different languages going on there. But it's all quite simple, this thing. Now I'm going to start off with the coils here and you can see we've got the flow branding going on here and we've got these little wick holes going on all the way around. You can see here it says 0 0.25 ohm and it's 35 watts to 60 watts that's the recommended range, we'll cover that later. And I'm not 100% sure, but for the eagle eye there, I think these are the same or compatible. The tank is compatible with the Baby Beast coils as well. We do have a little spit guard there, and we've got, you know, a vertical coil going through there. And I'll cover everything else to do with this, you know, once we get back up top. This is the stainless steel one, and you can see we've got flow engraved on there, heavily engraved. On the bottom we have Otofo down here, and flow once again. The 510 pin uh, does protrude a fair old bit here as well. And before I forget, I should point out that this is silver plated, the 510 pin here. Now, it's quite a simple tank, this. Uh, you know, you've got adjustable airflow at the bottom here. I'll describe that once we go back up top. Uh, because the, you know, the AFC, the airflow ring, you know, airflow control sits right on the bottom. When this is on your mod, it can be a little bit of a pain to adjust the airflow. You may have to back this off, you know, unscrew it a little bit, you know, to adjust. But that is a negative you will always get with these kind of tanks where the airflow control ring sits down the very bottom. You can unscrew this, take that out, and that's how you replace your coil. I should mention, and I keep forgetting, is that, you know, with sub tanks, please don't forget to prime your coil, put some juice in it, you know, make sure the cotton's saturated, turn the wattage down in your device and give it a bit of time before you ramp it right up. Now inside we do have a silicon reducer and the, the, yes, this uh, will come out if you so desire. Uh, with the reducer in, you get 2 mil of juice, with the reducer out, it's 4 mil of juice. Up the top, uh, the drip tip. Now it's a Delrin drip tip and it is a 510 drip tip so you can put your own ones on there. We've got this nice flat top to it and you know even though it is quite a wide drip tip it's got quite a you know standard bore if you like going through it there. But I do like the fact that I can put my own drip tips on this no problem at all. To fill her up we just unscrew this from the top off she comes. No problem at all. There's not masses of threads here. It's quite you know it's goes on and off quite easy so just you know just almost like one full revolution 360 degrees and that's just about it and of course with the reducer in you're going to have to make sure that you pour your juice down that slot there if the reducer is not in there then it's not a problem and I should mention I think the reducer is made of some kind of silicon or at least it feels that way and just for comparison here's the the black one that I've been using constantly next to the one with the reducer in it and that's about it for the up close. Now I am not a huge sub tank user but I do usually when I'm going on holiday and stuff like that or away for the weekend I will take two sub tanks with me. I just it's lazy, it's easy for me and and these days a lot of the sub tank coils are not too bad at all. Uh, now for this one as I said I've seen it in the UK between 20 and 25 pounds and and that's you know, <laughs> you can't really fault uh, the value of that. I mean, they say it's 316 stainless steel, silver plated 510 contact. So, tick, 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 that's all good. 24 millimeters in diameter, you know, that's what a lot of people look for these days. 
40 millimeters in height, so it's it's not too offensive. Um, it does look crap with the reducer in it. I mean, that has to be said. I mean, that looks completely, yeah, just looks shit. However, with that out, you've got four mil of juice and it doesn't look too bad. As for the other coils, just reading here, uh, apparently the TFV8 Baby Beast coils are compatible. Um, and there's a whole range of those coils, so that's a good thing. But as far as the coil that goes that's in it and the airflow. Now, I have got the airflow fully open just now and big long hit, but there's a little bit of restriction there with it fully open. You can turn this down and you can get, you know, a tight-ish long hit, uh, quite a restricted one, but there's there's no way that I would say this is a mouth-to-lung tank in any shape or form. By saying that, you can turn it right down and you can turn the wattage right down, but this is where my issue with it comes. Um, because of the, the size of hole in the centre of the coil uh, and the, the amount of power you have to put through this, it's not a mouth-to-lung tank, it's a sub-ohm tank. Uh, there's a big distinction between the two and for those people that do mouth-to-lung, and I'm talking 1mm, 1.5mm air holes, forget it, it's a sub-ohm tank. Now, the flavour, uh, when I first got this, I've had it for a couple of weeks, when I first got this, I thought the coils were terrible. I really did think they were terrible. I was getting the vapour uh, that I wanted, the amount of vapour I wanted, from about 30, 35 watts. I was quite happy with that. Um, and, and that brings me back to what I said earlier. Please, even though it says on a coil, you know, a recommended range, uh, don't put a coil in and go 60 watts, ramp it up to 60 watts and take a vape. Adjust to taste. If you're using a regulated mod, prime the coil, fill it full of juice, turn the wattage right down to 20, 25 watts, take a vape, turn it up a few more, take another vape and adjust it to taste. You will find your sweet spot. Ignore the numbers. Um, so many people get caught up in that. It's just... Ignore it. So for me, um, yeah, I was I ended up at 4550 watts. The reason I've ended up at 4550 watts is the only way that I can get any flavour out of these coils. Below 40 or 45 watts, um, it, there's nothing. It's just it kills. There's there's nothing from my normal juice. I'm talking about fruity like code red or custards, things like that. It's just muted and dead. Bump it up, put it above 40, 45 watts and it comes to life. 45 watts just now, fully open. And that is good. That's a flavoursome vape. Um, now I'm not a, a huge fan of vaping at that wattage, but um, f I have to to get anything out of these coils. With a full-on VG or about a 95% VG, uh, I find about 50, 55 is kind of its limit. Then it starts to just get a little bit on the, the dry side, uh, but it does wick away quite the thing. I like the fact I can fit my own drip tips on there. I do like the fact that, you, you know, when you take the top off, you know, to fill it with juice, uh, it's just like one turn. Uh, it's almost like a 360 degree turn and off it comes. There's not threads and threads and threads. So I like that aspect. Uh, the whole reducer thing, you know, if you've got the reducer in, filling it up is a bit of a pain in the arse. But um, it works and it's 2 mil capacity. But you can, as I said, go to 4 mil. Aesthetics wise, I, <laughs> it's a sub tank. But it's actually, it's not a bad looking sub tank. I, I think it's quite a classy looking one. And cons. Ah, I don't really have many cons. Um... Yeah, I, I can't even the whole mouth to lung thing, decreasing the airflow, all that kind of stuff. I'm not even going to put that as a con because at the end of the day, it's a sub tank and sub tanks, you know, you're supposed to put a lot of air through it and ramp the wattage up. That's what a sub tank is. Two coils, spare glass, spare O-rings, 20, 25 pound. What's not to like? Um... I, I'm just going to leave it at that. I, do, I honestly don't have any real cons to give you. Um, 
other, other than the one you know when it's screwed down flush to a mod adjusting the airflow control ring can be it doesn't always work that well you have to back the tank off a bit adjust it then screw it back down another one would be I do wish I knew what coils they were as in I know they're 0 0.25 ohm but it doesn't say anywhere if it's stainless steel canthal or, or, or anything like that there's, there's nothing anywhere to tell me so that's mm, I, I wish I knew I just don't before I finish up, one thing I will say is, people say, how long do you get out of the coil? Um, this, how long you get out of the coil depends on what wattage you vape it at, what kind of juice you're using. There's so many variables on the coils. I have for I have been using the same coil since this thing arrived, and I've had lots of juice through it, but it's quite a clean juice that I'm using. You start using a really, really heavy VG with lots of sweeteners in it and whatnot, heavy custards, then, I don't know, a week tops, that's all you're going to get, so just be aware of that. But that's it from me. Thank you to Watofo for sending this on. I did get this free to review to show off to you guys. These are available in the UK to buy. I'll pop a link from the first result I get from uh, the old interwebs. And uh, to you guys, as always, thank you very, very much for watching. And we'll catch you next time. Bye for now. On my fog and sailor. Uh, now, it's... Uh, it's it's this big. I've forgotten. I should really edit this out. No, box.